I left my birthplace of the UK to move to a country that bought the world, the ATM machine, the MRI scan, the Collar TV, and the Kardashians. What country is this, you ask? America? Absolutely not. The small but beautiful country of Armenia. From this, I get two main questions. The first is, where is Armenia? And the second, is why? Luca, Luca, Gala. yeah, I know this guy. I've heard he has some big problems, big, big issues in England with the government. So the police is looking for him and he's escaping from them in uh, Armenia. Hey, Andrani, you know, if you have a problem in Armenia, you don't know have problem. I don't have problem. You have a friend like me? No problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been getting asked that question way too many times. It's getting a little bit annoying. So I've decided to make this video to answer that question once and for all. My first trip to Armenia was in August 2021. That summer, I'd already visited 10 countries and I have to tell you, Armenia was completely by chance. I was in the country of Georgia and I had about three or four days to kill before I went back to Dubai. I thought, do I just stay in Georgia? Do I go back to Dubai? Or do I go to one more country? And then, by chance, I see that the flight from Tbilisi to Yerevan is only 30 minutes long. I'd heard a few good things about Armenia already, so I thought, why not? What is there to lose? Let's go to Armenia. Now, when you travel, it opens your mind and it gives you an amazing new perspective on all of the countries and the country that you're from. So with 10 countries visited that summer, I was in a very unique place to judge Armenia. Within literally one hour of being in Yerevan, I loved it. And it just got better and better over the short stay. And by the end, I could honestly say that Armenia was my favorite country I've been to that summer. During the trip, I started making a few little videos in Armenia and the reaction from the Armenians was so huge that I decided to hold a meetup in Yerevan caravan after being in the country only three days. And guess what? About 200 people showed up. Wow. I thought, this is crazy. Before this trip, I had no Armenian fans. I'd never seen such crazy support and engagement from a single nation. Without further ado, I'm going to give you five reasons why I love Armenia. And the fifth one is very cool, especially if you're Armenian. So stick around for that. So reason number one has to be the people, the Armenian people. The Armenians are honestly some of the kindest, most hospitable, welcoming people you could wish to find. They're really nationalistic and proud of their country in a special, unique way that I haven't seen. Small population, three million, about seven million Armenians around the world. So they kind of stick together. It feels like they're a family. The way I describe coming to Armenia, it's like Armenia, the country, is the home and the people or the family. And when you come into their country, it's like you're stepping into their home. And you know they want to welcome you. Oh, nice to see you. I'll take your shoes off. Can I get you a drink? Do you want something to eat? Get invited into their house to, to eat an Armenian feast. It really is a special feeling when you come. You feel like in Armenia, their house is your house. You're welcome as long as you want and they're happy to have you. That is how it feels when you come here. And especially being from Britain or somewhere like that, you're like an unexpected visitor. They're going, wow, I didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Amazing. They're shocked, surprised, but grateful to have you there. So for that reason, there's not even the slightest 1% feeling of you're not welcome. You feel very welcome. And then you feel at home as well. And that's what's amazing about the Armenian people. Next thing I love is the city of Yerevan. Absolutely love Yerevan. One of my favorite cities. Just clean, nice, pleasant, beautiful, excellent. And the bonus is that it's very small. For me, I like that because you can walk around everywhere and there's so many great restaurants, cafes, places to go, things to do, things to see. You can just walk. You barely even need to use a taxi. If you do need a taxi, they're very affordably priced. And the level of English here, well, it's not the best. The main language is Armenian and Russian. The level of English is decent. It's decent enough to get by with no problem. And if you do learn a few Armenian words, the Armenians go crazy for it. The other thing I love here is the freedom and safety that you get. Yerevan is one of the safest places. Armenia is one of the safest places you possibly go to. And that's without having crazy security cameras following you everywhere. The religion is strong. The traditions are strong. It's 99.9% .9 Armenian population. So the people who live here care about their country. They don't want their country to be seen in a bad light. They would hate to think that you had a bad experience. If, for example, someone stole something from me, it wouldn't be a thought of, oh, look at this foreigner coming to our country. I'm glad he got robbed. It'd be, oh my 
god, oh my, this is this is terrible. This is bringing shame on Armenia. That is the attitude of the people. The Western countries that were supposed to provide you safety of going down the toilet in London, New York, Paris. You are not safe at all. Can't wear a nice watch without getting stabbed or your arm chopped off. Got to be careful with your phone. Anything. It's crazy. It's getting crazy and crazier every day. Knife crime is going absolutely through the roof. And yet here, you can come here, enjoy, no worries. Wear whatever you want. And guess what? Everybody will always say that even for women, you can walk home alone at night and you're never ever gonna have an issue. And yet the perspective from the media is it's not. I've told people from England that I live in Armenia and they say, oh my God, is it not really dangerous there? I'm thinking, have you been to London recently? Oh my goodness. And here, totally different story. Reason number four is culture and traditions. Armenia has retained what makes it Armenia. The food, the wine, the people, the attitudes, the way people are with family. Armenia is unmistakably Armenia and Armenians are unmistakably Armenians. And it's for better or for worse. It's got its quirks, you know? It's got the taxi drivers who drive like crazy and look at you funny when you try and put your seatbelt on because they're thinking, oh, are you insulting me? Are you saying I'm a bad driver? You're putting a seatbelt on? Now, because the culture and family traditions are still strong, I can tell you, if you're a guy from the West and you know, you're looking for, uh, let's say, a wife who's loyal, loving, virtuous, hasn't slept with the entire town. Your chances of finding it here in this part of the world are way higher, way higher than if you live in the UK or US. Just saying. And reason number five, and this is one that's surprising, and that is the talent of the people. When I came to Armenia the second time, I noticed there were so many talented people here who were just waiting for the opportunity. And that's why I decided to set up my office for my media influencer talent agency in Armenia. And my office is in that building, just over there in the beautiful square here in front of Moscow Cinema. In the summer, this uh, fountain will be looking beautiful, but it's kind of a bit cloudy today, so maybe not. But uh, yeah, I set up my company here. I have amazing Armenian staff here. They have a beautiful attitude towards work. They're grateful for an opportunity that's handed to them. And this is exactly the opposite of what you find in places like the UK. You get entitlement, you get people who go to work to work, not for the, the challenge and the opportunity. And uh, yeah, it was quite refreshing to see. And that's why I decided to bring my resources and opportunities to Armenia and open the Armenia office, which is great. So if you are Armenian and you live in Armenia, then we have opportunities for you. Email your CV to this address here and we'll be in touch. We're doing really exciting things both in Armenia and internationally and we want more people to be a part of it. We're hungry and have the drive to do something special with their life. So get in touch, speak to you or meet you very soon. So yeah, that is the five main reasons why I love Armenia. And let me tell you, the people in England, where I'm from, they could not even point to Armenia on the map. In fact, they think I'm in Romania. <laughs> and guess what? The Armenians, they can't believe I'm here either. But yeah, they need to know what is great about their country. The Armenians are very humble, you see. They're kind of, it's kind of like the beautiful girl who doesn't know she's beautiful. And when you tell them you're beautiful, their eyes light up. And that is the exact reaction when you start telling an Armenian about how you love their country. Got a home here, got the office here, got the Armenian staff, uh, haven't got an Armenian wife, although I've had many offers, had to reject them, had to break some hearts. I'm sorry about that. Are there any negatives? Well, I guess, look, it is a small place, so if you don't like small places, you know, that can be annoying, I guess. For me, I like it. After two, three months, maybe I want to get out and go somewhere different, but, you know, that could be a positive or negative, depending on your perspective. And of course, it doesn't have the same, let's say, consumer conveniences as somewhere like Dubai or London, where you can get everything and anything at any time of the day, whenever you want, but it has its own charm. Now, of course, there is always the threat currently of a war situation. Uh, and that is one of the things that it is to bear in mind if you come to Armenia. Of course, in the city of Yerevan, the capital, uh, you're fairly safe. There's no problems at all. Uh, but, you know, on the border of Azerbaijan, there's always some danger. So, you know, it is advisable for most tourists to avoid those places at the minute. Hopefully soon everything will be fine. Every Armenian I speak to just wants peace in the country. Uh, and that's what we all hope and pray for. Of course, they had here the Armenian genocide and you can do your own research on that. And we recently had the genocide day here in Armenia. But I believe that the hardships of the past have made the Armenian people stronger, 
more resilient, and let me tell you, more together than you could possibly imagine. And for me personally, as an outsider, I'm really optimistic for the future of Armenia. So that is it from our vlog here from Yerevan, Armenia. If you're from Armenia or you're from around the world, we've got some amazing content coming up, both here in Armenia and from around the world. So make sure you subscribe for more. And what else can I say? Goodbye. Merci, Shat. Stay tuned. See you later. Take care.